main issue. Deep talk, guys. This is number two, and this is a very strong, strong topic. It's situational awareness and gaming sense. It's those two things help you improve on the characters to fight against and to fight with. Mercy being so close, where when we have fought that first fight, right? Mercy could have instead of res the tank, healed the off tank, helped us with the DPS, as in boost our, ma our, our, our attack, you know, do whatever she could have done. Instead, she res the Reinhardt, they got two picks, we somehow got one tick off of it because of that. We could have capitalized the whole thing if we would have actually paid attention and healed. See, by the time that, instead of resing, if the Mercy was healing us and we would have moved forward, then the Reinhardt would have been able to capitalize coming back and would have been able to save us. Instead, we rezzed. We didn't have a res for the other, for the, the off tank, which we needed at the time because we had our healer at, on base. We had two healers on base, so expending one healer isn't bad. But what she kept on doing was every time the healer would die, she would res that healer. Now we're down two healers and we're fighting a fight we cannot win. So a 5v6 turns into a 4v6, turns into a 3v6, turns into a 1v6. Very quickly, because we didn't have the support that we needed. So that's just a misconception with, with, with support classes. They're all about, well, I gotta be tunnel... There's no such thing as tunnel-visioned healers. And that's not true at all. There really is. And it's, it, it doesn't really happen to Mercies too much. So when you do see Mercy do that, it's usually a gold or a below. That's making these dumb decisions. And I mean, idiotic decisions, dude. I mean, Mercy's a brain-dead character, along with Moira. You should be able to max out their healing. And especially with the buffs that Mercy got, like, there should be no issue at all. Instead, you have the gold mentality of, I'm doing everything right, and you guys aren't doing enough of your job, instead of actually paying attention to themselves. That's not even the biggest issue, either. That match, the biggest issue was she queued up already in her mind thinking, I don't really care about this match because I'm on 30 FPS. I don't really give a shit. I'm bored, she said. So I'm going to play a ranked game that I have n I'm have. i lagging my balls off and I have no straight connection to. you know. And she's already coming in this, this game wanting to lose. That's it. You're not wanting to improve. You're not wanting to queue up because you want to get better. You're queuing up just so because you're bored. And you, that's just a really bad, bad concept. Because what you're telling other people while you're queuing is, fuck you. You don't give a shit about them. You don't care about teamwork. You don't care about the game. So why queue up on competitive ranked? If you have a shitty connection and you know it's a shitty connection and you're just flat out being a dick... Like, that's my issue. Bottom line is, to move up, you got to heighten your game sense, improve on your situational awareness. You know, widows, I mean, snipers take high ground. You know, turrets take ob obscured position, positions. Bastion take those corners. Tanks take the corners. You know, uh, Vara, Echo, take the, use the environment to your advantage, you know. Things can be worked around the meta encounters. You just got to know how to do it. And if you don't, there's a reason why you haven't moved up. Yeah. I'm done.